Hey everyone, Chris here. Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Dark Toy Lord Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Voltron 84 classic legendary Red Lion action figure by Playmates. Real quick, we'll take a look at the packaging first. Here we have uh, some nice artwork of the classic 1980s Voltron right there. We have the action figure sealed in its plastic bubble. Uh, we have a little diagram right here. You can see that the red lion is one of Voltron's arms. Spin the package around to the back. We have a picture of the actual toy right there. You can see the combined form right here and a little bit of a write up about the character there. Uh, one thing I do want to make uh, mention of right out of the, out of the gates is um, a little bit of disappointment. Uh, this clearly shows the lion's uh, legs and midsection being silver. But when we look at the actual toy, it is all a muted, dull gray plastic. No, nothing silver there at all. So I guess that, uh, just a little bit of uh, disappointment right there. But um, there you go. Well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead. We'll open this up. We'll take a closer look at the toy itself. Okay, so package contents include a little catalog of other figures available from this toy line. We have the uh, instructions. For accessories, here's the red line includes Voltron sword. And then we have an assortment of weapons for the red lion. Uh, here's this dagger that you can hold in his mouth. Uh, he has this little accessory, which I'm assuming is some sort of cannon maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, and then he has this missile launcher. So here is the red line. Let's go ahead and get a quick measurement on this guy. All right, so from the tip of his nose to the end of his tail, he's about nine inches in length. Uh, for articulation, uh, he has a spring-loaded jaw. His head can turn side to side. And you can hear it's got a nice ratchet joint there. Uh, the lion legs also are ratcheted. Uh, the shoulder and the elbow joints. It feels like the foot might have a, a very soft ratchet. You can feel it kind of clicking into place there. And then the midsection, which also doubles as Voltron's elbow. And spin it here and then also spin it there. The hind legs have the same articulation as the front legs. And then much like um, the other Voltron that came out, the tail, it's, it's kind of like this rubbery uh, material. It doesn't fold up like the 1980s version, uh, where the tails would just fold up as the transformation. This actually just, you push it into the line. I, I think I personally would prefer the, uh, the tail actually fold up onto the line's back. Go ahead and try putting some of these accessories in place. So here is the knife. We go into the lion's mouth. There we go. And because of that uh, that spring jaw there, I mean it's in there nice and tight. There's no danger of that coming loose and falling out. Uh, we have the rocket launcher, which you can peg in here to his leg. The missile in place. And the packaging did verify that this is a laser cannon, and that can peg in also. In regards to the transformation, so this transforms pretty much the same way the 1980s version did, with the exception of the tail. Again, the tail, you just 
push it into the lion body. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna collapse the legs up like so. And here's the uh, connecting tab. Uh, once we have all the lines uh, ready to be assembled, this is gonna peg into the black lion. See how, um, one thing I forgot to mention when I plugged the, uh, the knife into his mouth, you can kind of see right here, there's a slot in his mouth and there's a tab. There's a tab on the knife and there's a tab here on the sword. That can go, that can peg into that slot and then you can close the lion's mouth. It just helps give it, even though it is no danger of it falling out, but it does help give more stability to the weapon while it's being held. So there you have it. So my overall thoughts about this toy, I'm, I'm gonna not be too critical because uh, I really wanna see all the lines put together as Voltron, because realistically that's the toy that I'm after. Um, one thing I am concerned about, as I already mentioned, uh, is just the fact that the packaging shows silver legs and waist, but these are just the gray plastic. Um, in regards to quality, uh, I mean, it's a very simple design. Uh, things weren't overly complicated back in the 80s but in regards to quality i do like the ratchet joints on it but the the quality plastic i don't know just it seems like the, the plastic quality leaves a lot to be desired it feels kind of cheap if you will but beyond that i mean if you have any questions at all please let me know down below as always i do thank you for tuning in and please remember comment like subscribe until next time, we'll talk to you later.